due to watching somebody being murdered. It's very sacred. It's like you're not something you're not supposed to see, right? And with that comes a huge sense of loss of your innocence, humanity. But if we're talking about summarizing, I feel I've gained a lot. I've gained this idea that we don't live forever and ever. That the only moment I have is now, really. So okay, it's complicated, right? Because the friend I was with who got murdered was an American Christian called Christine Luca. And they murdered her because they thought, like me, she was Jewish, all right? Now, as a result of me stabbing the guy with my pen knife, the blood on my knife, the DNA, helped the police catch the murderers, okay? And then the murderers confessed to murdering another Jewish lady 10 months previously to the terror attack I was in. And that lady was Netta Bladsora. But the Israeli press said about Netta, the tabloids, you know, they're always looking for scoop. They said that she committed suicide and she was weird. And then it's not fair, you know, she was in her mid fifties, her parents were elderly. And so for 10 months, the family lived with this terrible shame that their daughter, the other one is saying the daughter killed herself, right? So when it came about that the blood on my knife helped the police catch the murderers and then they confessed to murdering Netta, for Netta's mum and dad, I was like, I brought them kind of a redemption, you know, peace of mind. They knew that really what had happened to their daughter. So my relationship with Netta's family now is really close. I feel that I understand really what people are going through. I mean, I know physically what it feels like. I know emotionally, I know the terror, I know the shock, I know the pain. Uh, and I know that when somebody gets stabbed, even if it's once, not 13 times, like in my case, I know it's a very big event that will change their life forever. Most people just read or hear about it for five seconds and then they already forget. But I know that the person who's gone through it will never forget. When we talk about coexistence, I don't have an opinion on politics uh, or any kind of solution on the broad level, macro level, but I do believe that every individual, no matter where he's from, what his ethnicity is, what his religion is, every individual should be assessed in his own right. But can I add, I don't think coexistence is possible when we have neighbours who it's in every piece of their society that they want to kill Jews. How can you live? How can you coexist with people? Let's put it another way, all right? If I want to give you a present, I have to have it to give it to you, right? So how can the Palestinian leadership give Israel peace and love if they're filled with hate? They can't do it because they don't have it. So I can't see at the moment until they decide to rid their whole system from hatred that there will ever be coexistence.